course, Throwback Thursday because it is Thursday. Yes. And here on Winging It Buffalo Style, we like to celebrate Throwback Thursday by taking a weekly trip down memory lane to revisit an important or interesting time in Buffalo's past. Now, Monday, we celebrated Martin Luther King Day, so we're going back to his visit to Buffalo. Did you know he came here on November 9th, 1967? He spoke to a crowd of 2,500 people gathered at Kleinhans Music Hall, and he gave a speech entitled, The Future of Integration. Now, the event was organized by the Student Association and Graduate Student Association at UB, and their university archives department generously gave us the access to their Dr. King collection and gave us these photos to share with you today. But it's kind of cool to think that, you know, over the weekend, he spoke there about 40 years ago. Over the weekend, they gave a, a concert in his memory at Kleinhans Music Hall, same place where he spoke. Yes, you know, it was obviously a very historic moment for University of Buffalo. But, uh, you know, what's really interesting about it is when MLK was here giving this obviously very historic speech, he was talking about something that he didn't always speak about. You mm -hmm. know, MLK was also very vocally against the Vietnam War, and that's not something a lot of people know because some people that he was very close to didn't really like his stance on the Vietnam War. So he didn't always talk about it, but he did when he was here at UB. So it's really something unique that we had the experience of here in Buffalo. And you you had uh, brought something up. Oh, our friend is uh, enjoying the, festive, the festivities over on the other side of the studio. But you had uh, said that it impacted the attendance for the event, knowing that he was going to speak about that topic. Yes, you know, there were thousands of people at the event, but I guess there was a few hundred seats that were empty because people, you know, even though they agreed with his fight for racial equality, Quality weren't so excited about his stance on the Vietnam War. So there were some seats empty because of that. So it's really interesting, but of course, a very special day for Buffalo to remember. So. That's right. Throwback Thursday with Emily Lenahan, my coach. All right, Dom, we're going to check back in with you in just a little bit.